To begin setting up our external aerodynamics analysis on the armored body, we're going to use the enclosure function within SimScale to build a wind tunnel. I need to give a few different sizes and pick a seed face and then press create. And that is going to build a wind tunnel volume for me. Once it's done, I can then move to create my incompressible simulation. We now have to run through a few stages on the left hand side. The first one is going to be the mesh. I'm creating a topological entity set of the surfaces of the armored body so that I can reuse them a couple of times. And now I'm going to add a refinement region using a Cartesian box. So you'll see me position it around the armored body and um, a little bit in front with quite a lot behind to help refine the mesh in this region. Note also that we're only running a half symmetry model here. We don't need to run the whole thing and we can run it in half the amount of time if we just run half of the model. Okay, that is the box created. I'm now going to use it to refine uh, the mesh within that region. So I can turn on the box and that'll be captured now. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more things. One is surface refinement. So using my topological entity set, I can refine just the surfaces on the armored body and the elements will be within those two values. Finally, I'm going to build a boundary layer. So again, using the topological entity set, I can create a boundary layer just on the armored body. Okay, now I can press generate and the mesh will be created. Once it's done, I can continue on through the process. So I'm gonna assign air as a material to the volume that I have. And then I need to assign a few boundary conditions. So we have a flow rate at the inlet. And then we need to let the air out of the outlet. So there we have a pressure outlet on the opposite end. We have a symmetry face. Some of the walls on the outsides, we need to assign a slip condition so there is zero friction on those surfaces to slow down the air. And then underneath, we have a moving wall or moving road. And now I'm going to move to simulation control to run this for 3000 iterations. Um, I'm gonna set a longer maximum runtime, so that's a real time just to make sure it doesn't stop before it reaches those 3000 or convergence. I'll set up some result controls. So basically again, using the topological entity set, so using those surfaces, I can capture the forces and moments on those during the run. And here I can capture the drag coefficient as well. We need to input a little bit extra data as you can see. And then we can start the model running. So the analysis will begin and when it's complete, we can look at the results. Once complete, we can move to the post processor to take a look at the results that the analysis has produced. So initially, I'm just gonna shade everything by velocity. Because we have a symmetry plane, we can see the velocity profile on that symmetry surface. We can also shade by pressure. You can see the high pressure region at the front, exactly as you would expect. We can also run some particle traces through the model. If we pick the inlet surface here, you'll see them pass through. Um, we can change the scalar that they're shaded by. And just below there, if you want to as well, you can make them a little bit thinner, which often helps to um, visualize exactly what is happening. Thanks for listening.